Rodgers has been in a position where the Packers are among the Super Bowl favorites, the five or six or eight teams that have the best odds to get to the Super Bowl or win it, and that's usually been because Aaron Rodgers is on the team. That's been most of his career, at least in the, you know, in the recent seasons under Mike McCarthy. Now, that started to change a bit, right? They brought in a new head coach in LaFleur who went 13-3, and three, and they won a playoff game his first year there, and Rodgers was just learning things. And this year you saw he was back to being his dynamic self, and they again won 13 games. And this time they got to the NFC Championship game, although in this offseason – they drafted a backup quarterback, a guy in Jordan Love who's presumably going to one day take Aaron Rodgers' job. So what Rodgers should know about Packers management is they're far from incompetent. They're not the best organization in football, but they're a competent organization who looks at him simply as a commodity. I mean, we know that that's the case with most, most football teams and they're even some of their icons. Brady is no longer a Patriot. Favre did not end his career with the Packers, and neither did Peyton Manning in Indianapolis. But it's very clear the message they've sent to Rodgers. They don't seem to consult with him in terms of what he wants. They, they don't seem to look at him as an icon that deserves a kind of extra level of respect as some other organizations do. And if I were Rodgers, uh, the only thing I would trust is I have a competent but not one of the very best organizations around me and as soon as I stop being useful to them, they're going to move on. He should know that, and I'm sure he does. Let me pull a little max here, Molly, and allow me to get a little mm -hmm. bit philosophical. Say something brilliant. Because I'm, because, because I'm tired of regurgitating my <laughs> same comment about the Green Bay Packers, how they lacked faith in Aaron Rodgers, and what they did was disrespectful in my estimation. Let me put it to you this way. <clears throat> Once upon a time, a couple of years ago, uh, the player will remain nameless, but is a superstar in the NBA. And I got into a debate with him because what happened was he was very upset that, you know, we talked about him and we put such a level of responsibility on his shoulders. And he was fond of talking about it's a team game, it's a team game, blah, 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 blah. And what I said to him was, can I ask you a question? Sure. I said to him, Max, when you went to the negotiating table, was it about the team? Or was that about you? When you and your representatives went to the table, knowing that you warranted a max deal, did everybody on the team deserve a max deal? Doesn't the collective bargaining agreement with the NBA stipulate that players could make up to 30, if not 35% of the cap, depending on the years of service, combined with, you know, obviously the marketing, you know, the, the, the market, their own marketability. Of course that's the case. So, yes, it's a team game. And, yes, the team determines the outcome. But there's a certain level of responsibility that somebody has, more so than others. That's what happens in the world of sports. If you don't like it, quit. And I say you can transfer the same kind of thinking to football, to, to compartmentalize and get specific about the Green Bay Packers. I understand you got all of these players around him, but Aaron Rodgers is this franchise. Aaron Rodgers is the guy that's earned over $200 million. Aaron Rodgers is the one that won a Super Bowl for you. Aaron Rodgers is the one that's had you in like four or five NFC conference title games. Aaron Rodgers has, had, has held the Green Bay Packers organization for years on his shoulders. Is Matt LaFleur an upgrade from Mike McCarthy? You're damn right he is. But the point is that doesn't take away from who Aaron Rodgers is and what he means to this organization and what he represents. And when you have that at your staple, you don't treat him like he's just another guy. You treat him like the cachet, the star power, the elite talent that he is, and on too many occasions, what we have is a situation where at their discretion, everyone wants to reel the star in and remind the star that you're just like everybody else when they want something from you, when they want to do something. But when they want something from you and they want to place that weight on your shoulders in a fashion they would never do to a multitude of players wearing the same uniform, then they don't talk about equality then. Then it's you. 
until they want you to be just like everybody else. That is the problem the Aaron Rodgers of the world and others should have. That is the problem Tom Brady had when he departed New England. I'm not just anybody else. I'm Rodgers Tom deserves Brady. More respect. I'm not just anybody else. And these guys want to pick and choose when they want to do that to players and when they don't. And that is what is egregious about all of this stuff that we're talking about with the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers deserves better from them. Period. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.